Hey guys, uh, so this is a continuation from the previous video where I created a GUI, just a little login screen, and it, once again, I'm sorry, I cannot show you the login screen. Maybe I'll upload it to the uh, to the GitHub link uh, so that you can just see how it looks, and and of course the code is up there as well so that you can run it on your PCs and see how it works. I truly apologize and sorry for any background noises that you hear. I've moved from the previous room where I was recording, so it might be a few background noises. But yeah, so continuing on, now we're going to create uh, the database portal. So I'm um, well, basically I'm going to create a a database using XAMPP, so there's going to be a database connection using XAMPP. And again, I am so sorry that you cannot see how I'm creating that database right now, but I'm just going to write down the script here so that you can see how to create it, uh, how to create your database. So create, uh, rather, sorry, uh, this has to be done in the server because we want when this data is sent to the server, we want it validated from the server. So down here, I'm just going to write the script, control V, create database, and I'm going to call it a uh, user, uh, rather, login, and then use database, login, and then we're going to create a table right there, so create table users, which is going to take in the following. Please ignore the error errors in here. They, they really don't mean anything, because I'm going to comment all of this out. So this is going to be an integer of size 11, and it's going to be auto underscore increment. And it's also going to be a primary key. And then we're going to have the name, which is Roger. Just going to put it at 100, because this is a full practice sake, so it's not going to be that one. And the password, which is Roger, 100 again. And yeah, that that should be it. Uh can just make this not now. Likewise this one. So from there all I literally have to do is copy all of this and paste it into my Into my into my my SQL client, and it should run. And I've pasted it right there. And it's going to be in a take me in the password. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to remove this. It's not supposed to be used databases, it's just supposed to be used. Okay. And then I'm going to comment this out, and then you can find that. And then, uh, within the code, and then you can use it to run the script. So that you have pretty much the same thing that I did. Uh-huh. So we have to create the database because we're not going to create it within um, we're not going to create it within Java. We're just going to use it. We're just going to use the tables within it. So down here, I'm going to create a method public uh, static void db, and it's going to take in data. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
and the data type is the login. And so now let's connect to our database. Now the first thing you have to do is create a try catch. And don't worry if you don't understand most of these things about creating data, uh, connecting to your database in in Java. I'm going to make a separate video that actually explains most of this stuff and how you can easily remember how to connect to your database. So most of these things I'm just going to be typing, but I'll be explaining a little by little. So please just. Bear with me as I type most of this thing. Uh, it's supposed to be class, not class like that. Okay. For name, and then there it's going to be com dot um com dot 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 dot. dot, dot. Huh, where is it? Yeah, com dot my SQL. Yeah. And my SQL dot JDBC dot driver with a capital D. Don't forget that capital D is not a small D. So we're specifying which drivers we're going to be using. And then a connection, uh, connection, is that I spell? Connection. Is it the con? Connection con because we're using the connection class from uh, from the SQL library in Java. So basically, what I'm gonna do here is just I'm just gonna import everything from the SQL so that when I use my intelligence, it just gives me everything. So driver dot get connection, and in here I have to specify the JDBC MySQL slash 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 local host port 3306. That's the default port for MySQL slash um, the name of the database and we named our database login. And then the next parameter within this driver connection is the root uh, in as a string because that's the user of my database and the last one is password and right now on my XAMPP I don't have a password for it so I leave it blank mind you you have to put the empty quotes if you put a space over there it's going to take that space as part of the password and Please don't do that. So just leave it blank like that. That is if you're not using the password. In, and if you're using a password, you can place your password right in there. So yeah, again, I'm going to explain all this in a separate video. Uh, just go with me here. And the next thing I have to do is create a statement. So uh, I'm going to name it SPM as we go to the connection dot execute statement. I don't think I actually need the statement. Yeah, I don't need the statement. I'm going to be using a prepared statement to actually make, to insert a, uh, wait, yeah, actually I do need the statement because I'm not inserting data. I'm sorry, I just got a, bit off there. Statement. And my spelling is not working. How do you spell statement again? <laughs> okay, there we go. Statement. Which is STM because I want to actually fetch data from the from the database. So statement is a connection. Uh, dot other create statement and then terminate that and then we're going to use that statement to fetch our data so we also have to use the result set result set I'm going to name it rs is equal to connect uh, stm other the statement 
dot execute query. And in here we put the SQL query that we want, which is select uh, star from user uh, where name or the user name. Oh, actually, it's just me. Name is equal to. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna create another string variable here and name it uh, query. Is equal to. And then I'm gonna put this in there so that that's separate because this statement might be slightly longer. And in here, I'm just gonna call in the query. So at the end, I'll terminate. Oh. So so let's start where name is equal to um yeah plus outside it plus data dot get name we use a name and we uh plus sign again and uh have to put quotes action a single quote inside there because I'm comparing a string and password so, and password is equal to single quotes Plus, okay, I'm just going to break this statement so that you see everything that I'm doing so that it doesn't go. And password, uh, I'm just going to break it again over there. Okay, not sure. And password is to data dot get password. And I have to put a single quote again in there. Because basically what this entire statement looks like is this. So it's uh, in it's a string. So select star from login where name is equal to. So say, for instance, the name was Jane. Uh, and password is equal to pass one two three. Bearing in mind that this data, this pass one two three, and this Jane are strings coming in from here, the data up here that we're gonna pass in as a parameter, right? And I'm just gonna delete that. And in fact, I'm just going to leave it there so that maybe you can get a comparison when you're running it on your own. So now we've gotten our data. And actually, I don't want this to be void. I actually want it to be a string, to be returned as a string, because we want to compare the two values when they come up. So I'm going to say, well, rs dot next and rs dot get string uh, get get okay that is good string and then in here I put in the the column name of which is going to get the data Here it's password. So I'm just going to declare two empty strings up here to pass in that data. So string name is equal to blank and string pass is equal to blank. 
Mind you, there are several ways of doing these things. I know I might be doing it the long way around, so please do comment and share what shorter way you would have done this. So I'm going to say if... I, I, tell, I, I am going this along the long, long, long way around. So... You will give me a moment. Okay. So I'm just going to check if check if data test can resolve. I am so sorry because I, I haven't done Java in a very, very long time. Actually, yeah, I am doing this the long way around. So I'm just going to put an if statement there. And then home. And delete all of this. I, I, I really don't need it. So I'm just going to check that to say that if the result set has a value inside it, then returns. Uh, then that means it has data. So I'm just going to say our if out has data. And actually return, um, just going to return true. No, actually, I'm returning a string, not a bully. So, boolean value. If not, then return. And I also have to put a return statement down here, otherwise Java will scream at me to say, why don't you return something? Because this statement may or may not run. So if it may or may not run, we still need a return value down there. But either way, if it returns something here, anything and everything down here is not going to work. Uh, it's not going to happen, right? That's why I put it there for uh, error in server. DB to print out when we catch any errors plus uh, yes. Control S. Just gonna zoom out for a moment to make sure I've written everything as I should have. So the data is gonna come in and we're gonna connect to the database and we're going to uh, we're going to create a query and we're gonna check if that date Excuse me. We're going to run that query to make sure that it compares to our database. And if the data comes with something, then it's going to print has data, then it's going to print return. In fact, if you just print else here and say, uh, has no data. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So down here, uh, up here, we have to make sure that we call this uh, this method down here so that it actually executes. So we're fetching the data from here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say, uh, um, what's the method name? DB. In fact, I have to pass it to an object. Excuse me. Uh, it is going to be, it's a boolean, so bool, excuse my spellings, boolean, um, rt as return is equal to db, and passing that data. All right. 
and then we're going to write to the object here. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not sure I named it data. Uh, why I named that thing? Why I gave it a boolean value? Because I'm returning strings in most of these places. So I'm gonna say true here as a string. False as a string as well. And false as a string. I know I'm, I'm being a bit redundant. I am so sorry. But yeah, that should work. And in here, I'm going to remove that data received and write RT so that it returns the right data that we want. So in the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how this works from the client side as well. We're gonna create a receiving point from the client side because I'm way over my time.